New research has found bottled water contains thousands of nanoplastics so small they can move through the tissue of the gut and the lungs and into the bloodstream. Nanoplastics are plastic particles so small that they can't be seen under a microscope and the cutting edge study has revealed there are 240,000 in just one litre of bottled water. As Isabel Ewing reports, it could have profound implications for human health. The millions of tonnes of plastic that end up in the ocean gradually break down into tiny fragments. Called microplastics, the threat they pose to marine life is well understood. But there is a whole galaxy of tinier plastic pollutants, dubbed nanoplastics, that science is only beginning to understand. Their findings are significant because once you're looking at a particle that is smaller than 100 microns, it can actually make its way across the gastro intestinal tract, be carried in your blood and end up in your organs. Using new technology, scientists in the US were able to detect microscopic nanoplastics in three common bottled water brands and the findings were staggering. A quarter of a million particles uh, including both microplastics and nanoplastics per litre. It's believed some of it comes from the bottles themselves and some, ironically, from the filters used to purify the water. It's estimated one billion single-use plastic bottles are sold every year in New Zealand. I have a reasonable one at home, but we were thirsty, so we got it from, like, the dairy. But if I'm, all, like, in a hurry or something, I need to buy, yeah. But I tried to do this instead. <laughs> I actually did not know that at all. That's a big surprise. Recently, scientists were shocked to find that Auckland beaches are polluted with 50 times more microplastics than elsewhere in New Zealand, prompting concerns about the problems that causes for sea life. It can cause starvation, internal abrasions, blockages, toxicity, reproductive impacts and even neurobehavioural changes. Veronica Rotman is researching microplastic pollution from snowy peaks to the waterways to the ocean and says the possibilities for these tiny particles are endless. It's just mind-blowing and I think we're all kind of just kicking ourselves thinking, what on earth have we created? The plastic pollution beast we created that's even bigger than we realised. Isabel Ewing, News Hub.